HSS Hire is a national tool and equipment hire company operating across over 200 stores, employing over 2,000 people throughout the country. As a direct supplier to businesses, HSS Hire not only has to keep in mind the health and safety of its own employees, but also that of the people it hires to. It's therefore imperative that the company has watertight health and safety systems and documented procedures, which is evidenced by the fact it is ISO 9000, ISO 14001, OSAS 18001 and Safe Hire certified. In addition, it is the only tool and equipment hire company to have achieved a four-star British Safety Council award. We spoke to the company's CEO, Chris Davis, and asked what leadership and health and safety meant to him and how this is drilled down to all layers of the organisation. I think in most organisations that's the most difficult thing to achieve. I mean, people become habitual in their job and they, they think that they know best and it's not going to happen to them and I'm, I'm no different. We, we all feel the same about that and we've, we've got to remind ourselves consistently and constantly. So um, we go through quite a, a degree of communication on a regular ongoing basis, whether that's posters in the workplace, um, through our bulletins, through our uh, intranet, um, and uh, within the organisation, constantly keeping the profile up, uh, as I say, under the banner of Serious About Safety. Um, we have the more visible aspects as well, wearing the correct equipment, and we've just completely revised our uh, safety equipment that each of our colleagues wears. And, th and that's, that's a great starting point, because it becomes a point uh, for you to talk about safety, either to um, congratulate somebody that they're doing it well or to point out that in actual fact they're not complying w with what they should be. So there is a talking point uh, created by that. But I think the most important thing is that all of us have a responsibility not to walk past. If we see something that's unsafe we have to talk about it and we have to have the confidence to challenge it. And certainly from the management of the organisation's objective is to make sure everybody in the organisation feels comfortable about making that challenge. It's this ethos that has led to a 14% reduction in accidents over the last year, as well as the fact that from day one all staff are given thorough induction training on health and safety through a series of toolbox talks, e-learning and a newly opened academy. The only way this message will be taken seriously throughout the company, however, is if the board level directors practice what they preach. Well, bless you, Elicus, uh, our health and safety director uh, is also a group board member who meets with the group board uh, every Tuesday. So I meet with the health and safety director every Monday uh, and go through all the health and safety issues for that week and produce a weekly health and safety report uh, of accidents and issues, which the following year goes right to the top. Uh, this is then followed by regional uh, director meetings and disseminated down throughout the business. Well, as I say, it's very much the first item when we meet together uh, and we, we talk about being serious about safety within our business. We make it our number one value uh, in our total value set and it's our number one customer promise. Uh, it's all about making sure our own colleagues uh, are safe. Uh, when they come to work, we like to send them all home um, well, and it's also about making sure at the end of a work day our customers have been able to use our equipment safely. The health and safety executive are very clear in terms of what they're looking for from senior managers when it comes to the management of health and safety. And uh, the Institute of Directors and the HSE documents leading health and safety is a great place to start. It's not a long document, it's only eight pages, but it sets out a clear agenda of what senior management should be trying to achieve in terms of health and safety within their business. And uh, at the back of the document there's actually a 10 point checklist and there's some very real, sometimes hard questions that um, aimed at senior managers. And um, obviously, leading by example is absolutely critical. Walking the talk, being able to, for your staff to clearly see that you take health and safety seriously. Um, setting strategy, again, having your health and safety objectives. What are those? How are you meeting those? Are those objectives smart that you can actually measure yourself against them? Just having zero accidents, zero injuries is sometimes just setting yourself up for failure. 
Um, it's also very important to be able to demonstrate that you've got a clear understanding of what are the key hazards and risks within your organisation and what you're doing about controlling those. And often they can sometimes be a, a medium to long term strategy. So having a plan of action in place in terms of how you're going to allocate and spend those resources is another good way to demonstrate that you're actually planning and thinking about health and safety. But above all, it just needs to be a proactive approach. It needs to be top of the agenda in terms of your health and safety meetings, making sure that you're getting the information that you need in order to make a judgment of how your health and safety performance is improving or otherwise. Um, and above all, it's all about interaction and of course, making sure that the people below you have got the time and the resources they need to fulfil their functions.